Hey everybody, I'm Dr. Ozzy with the Functional Medicine and Wellness Center. Thanks for joining us. We're going to talk a little bit today about old injuries or even new injuries. So a lot of times what isn't talked about is that we want to make sure we restore normal function to the joint. Uh, we may look at it, may we do physical therapy and things like that, but we actually want to get in there and work on any you know, scar tissue buildup. So we'll typically say you know, six to eight weeks or four to six weeks that joint is going to be better, but how better? Is it going to be better with actually normal tissue or is there going to be a lot of scar tissue and myofascial adhesions in that joint, which again is going to decrease blood flow, right? And anything that's going to heal that body in that joint, it's not going to move correctly. And again, it's not going to get that healing process going. Second, uh, scar tissue is going to have less tensile strength and less you know, uh, elasticity um, to that joint because again, that scar tissue typically just rips and tears and rips and tears. And again, what does that do? It causes micro traumas. And now we get more scar tissue buildup. So again, we just have this negative feed forward process. And now we start to see years down the road, even though we said, you know, that joint had healed up, we have osteoarthritis in there because we've changed the biomechanics of that joint because we never really worked on breaking down the scar tissue, creating better, you know, uh, myofascial, breaking that down to myofascial adhesions and getting it back to as close to normal tissue as possible. I kind of like to think of it like a, if anyone's ever seen a cat and they've got that matted hair, that's kind of similar to scar tissue or if you've ever cooked spaghetti and you just didn't actually stir it and it's all clumped up. That's what we think about scar tissue and we don't like it like that or we don't want it like that. We want to get it worked on as soon as possible. So again, we create it, get it back to as close to the tissue as it was prior to the accident. So super, super important. We'll use a cold laser here at the office, FDA approved for shoulder problems and neck problems. And again, just increases healing time, helps white blood cells and red blood cells, you know, get to the area. And that's not even getting into nutrition, which we talked about. I can get, you know, um, the tissues going with the soft tissue work, but if I don't have enough oxygen in the tissue, because maybe I'm low on iron, again, it's going to take me longer to heal, or I might not heal at all. So again, looking at the nutritional dynamics of somebody and making sure, do I have the B vitamins? Do I have the iron that I can actually make sure I'm making good red blood cells to get all the nutrients into that area to again, heal. Think of it like a house, right? You can have the best material in a house, a brick, the carpet and all that. But again, if you don't have somebody working on the structure to build that house, you got a problem. And I can have someone building, but if I don't have any material like the nutrition that I need to or the bricks or whatever to build that back up, I'm still in trouble, right? I'm not going to get a, I can't build anything. So I need to work on the structure as well as the chemistry. I got to have the material and I got to have the builder, right? So here at the Functional Medicine and Wellness Center, we want to jump on that as soon as we can and start working and making sure we decrease the amount of scar tissue buildup and get that joint working properly so it heals fast and heals right ASAP. So I'm Dr. Ozzy with the Functional Medicine Center. If you've had any injuries, old ones or new ones, you need to get in.